Finally tonight, an old war veteran didn't want to close the book on his life until he conquered his toughest foe. Steve Hartman takes us back for another visit on the road. Inside a single wide in Cookson, Oklahoma, a tortured soul lives alone. It's a hard life, let me tell you, but you ain't never lived hard that you go, go through what I've been through. This is me. 90-year-old Ed Bray served in World War II. Korean. He was at Normandy on D-Day, has two Purple Hearts and more than a dozen other medals. But when we first met him in March, he couldn't even read what they were for. Not because it was too painful. Victory. Victory. In, but because he simply couldn't nah. read. You know what that word is? E-U-R-O-P-E? No. Nah. Okay. The toughest thing that ever happened to me in my life is not being able to read. You said you were at Normandy, though. Yes. Illiteracy can be that damning. I've covered this up for 80 years. Nobody in this town knows I can't read. <sighs> Until he retired, Ed worked a civilian job at an Air Force base refueling planes. A co-worker helped him with the forms and whatnot. At home, his wife covered for him for 62 years until she died in 09. Put you guys some coffee on. Since then, Ed has managed okay, but the soldier in him still refuses to surrender. I wanted to read one book. I don't care if it's about Mickey Mouse. I want to read one book before I die. Over the years, Ed says many people have tried to school him, but invariably, either the teacher or the student would get frustrated and give up. Then a few months ago, a friend suggested he see a professor of reading education here at Oklahoma's Northeastern State University. He told me I was wasting my time. And I said, well, we'll just sit and chat a couple times a week. Is that okay? Very good. Toby Thompson says eventually their weekly talks gave way to flashcards. And everything started clicking. Four. He got pretty good at the sight words. One. Good job. But the real breakthrough came in February, when, at the age of 89, Ed Bray read this book about George Washington. It gave me goosebumps, and it still does. It still does. He read three more that week. And though they were all just third grade level biographies, Good job. each one had the same dramatic ending. Did you ever think you'd read that? This has changed my whole life. I'm not the same guy I was when I started with Toby. I'm a different man now. Today, Ed is at a sixth grade level and can now enjoy many of the benefits literacy provides. Ladies and gentlemen, most notably, this is Ed Gray. Karaoke. Make the world go away. We asked him to sing for us on this night, but he does it all the time on his own. Reading really has given him tremendous confidence, which he hopes will inspire others. Ed Gray, Get in there and learn, baby. Now. Because you ain't going to learn in that pine box. <laughs> Just learn to read and already a poet. And that's the truth. <laughs> Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Cookson, Oklahoma. <laughs>